You see this file? This is what I'm afraid of happening to this file. Let's pray it doesn't happen to this file. I know it's been the running joke of this entire Let's Play that any time I seem to record this, I'm anxiously remind maybe not anxiously, but I'm constantly reminded that it's the middle of winter, and I'm playing a summer sunshiny vacation-y game, and it's supposed to make me feel happy. So... This week, there was enough snow that a 50-minute commute took me five and a half hours! I kinda want to at least give myself a chance to appreciate the wonderful, scenic, tropical, whatever this game is, because I kinda like to escape from my frozen hell right now. Hello, guys! This is Universal Giant, and welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. Last time, we started off Sirena Beach. And today, we're going to be exploring the hotel and seeing how many of these blue coins I remember. Now, a lot of people like to think of this mission as being that mission that's kind of silly. That we have a Yoshi here, and he wants a pineapple. So all we have to do is run over here and grab a pineapple from the fruit stand. Except there's every single fruit here except the one Yoshi wants. How convenient! So we have to go running around this maze-like hotel in order to find it for him. And there's the lady that's supposed to be yelling at me for being in the women's room. Why weren't you here last time when I actually cared enough to look? But we can freely explore the hotel now. And there are a lot of interesting things that you can do. For instance... That thing on the wall is supposed to tell you you can go up through there! How it makes sense, I have no idea, but you're supposed to know somehow! So we can go through there. We can also go through this hole in the floor here. We can't get in there, but that's the shine that we need. Can't get there yet. Just gotta remember which of these tiles is the one that we just jumped through. Was it this one? Where was it? We can go back through it again, I just have to remember where it is. There it is. So this entire level is going to be like that, and I gotta admit, although there really isn't that much in the way of platforming here, I do like this concept for a level. It makes it really interesting. Maybe it's just my inner Zelda talking or something, but I really do like these kind of puzzle-like areas. It's not traditional platforming, but I seem to have a thing for not traditional aspects of a game anyway, so it shouldn't really be surprising. But these flippy panels, oh boy, they're going to be annoying later. At least I hope they're not, but we'll see what comes of it. You know what, Boo, if you're going to be like that, I'm just going to ignore you. And these guys we can spray to jump up through the hole in the ceiling there. Although the ceiling in here is much shorter than it looks, so you gotta keep that in mind when you're doing that sort of platforming. And I do believe there's something back here that we can miss. Maybe. No? There are plenty of toilets in here. I guess it's a good thing. I mean, every single hotel room needs its own toilet. I mean, you gotta figure most people aren't going to be going through every single person's hotel room searching for a toilet, so... It's good that they have more than one toilet in this freaking hotel. But this is the place where we get the pineapple from. And there's a another pineapple in there, too! And there are all these big ghosts that only Yoshi can eat. Now, one of the weirdest things that struck me as odd when I was a kid was that you can actually go through the doors with the fruit. I don't know how many people figure to try that their first time through, but it... You're holding a fruit with both hands. Do you really expect to be able to go through the door while holding the fruit? It doesn't make that much sense. I also have to remember which of these lamps and whatnot have the blue coins in them, because I feel like this is one of the two levels I'm most prone to forgetting something. I do remember that one, though. And there should be another one in this lamp over here, if I recall. It may not be there till later. Oh, no, there it is. I don't think we can actually go walk freely through all of the rooms in here yet, but we can eat the big ghost now. I just need to remember where all of the coins are. I see there is a ghost over here. Not a blue coin, that's a ghost. 
They do a lot of that in this still level, I'm not sure why. I'm also going to be going through all of those because I'm prone to miss stuff if I don't, like this blue coin. But I don't think we can go through doors with Yoshi, which is a little bit strange. Because you'd figure you could, it doesn't really make sense that you can't. I'm pretty sure we can go through the tile at the top here if I do the spin jump properly. Which I'm not very good at doing, as you can tell. So let's see if we can actually get this right. This may take a couple of tries, he says, as he's already completed a couple of tries anyway. You can see I'm kind of poking my head through the top. There we go. It's just a matter of can we get out of here this way. And I don't think we can. I kind of don't want to get rid of Yoshi if I don't have to. Because we need to get rid of Yoshi in order to get out of the door. Maybe it's a better idea for me to abandon Yoshi at this point, but I kind of don't want to abandon Yoshi. It was enough work to get him. Although it wouldn't be that much extra effort to... I don't even know why I'm continuing with this anyway. I'm bouncing on the ghost. You know what? It's not worth it. If I can just get back up, get back into the room with the pineapple... I don't even want... No, I am continuing with this anyway. So we'll get rid of Yoshi, I'll go get Pineapple, and we'll go see Yoshi again later, I guess. Or if I have to wait for another egg to spawn. Yoshi's gotta have to... Frig, Yoshi's gotta... Uh... Um... Um... Do I need to say anything? Yoshi? Do you mind disappearing? So you can reappear as an egg, and I can give you this wonderful pineapple. Do you mind disappearing, Yoshi? Yoshi? Do you mind disappearing, please? All I'm asking for you to do is to die so I can feed you when you're reborn. He's just standing there at the top of the screen on the second floor, phasing through the ceiling because our camera's positioned high enough that it can't tell where it is. And I'm just sitting here waiting for him to die so I can get another Yoshi. Do I still need to explain why I don't like this game? Goodbye, Yoshi. Now please Did he just, like, warp across the room? I'm gonna have to freeze that frame for frame, because it looked like he just... Flew across the screen so fast that I only caught it for a couple of frames. Yoshi, you are a very, very weird dinosaur. You have no idea. I'm at a complete loss for words at this point. Let's just get through the ceiling, get through the shaft, get through the... What am I supposed to be calling? Ventilation shaft? Kinda? It's not really a ventilation shaft. Although, it kinda is. I just don't remember where all of the coins are. So I'm hoping that's one of them, isn't it? Yep, there's one in there. This is... Oh, this leads to the sh- well, crap. I guess we'll be back for the other stuff later. Because you had enough of the hotel already, right? I'm gonna have to remember to go back and explore the rest of that place, although I think there will come a time when it's a little bit easier to explore than it is now. So, I mean, where we were, a lot of the doors were closed to make it specifically more difficult for you to be able to freely explore the hotel. Because the whole point was having to get that pineapple that was really difficult to find. I guess, that's at least what they were going for. Is that graffiti there yet? Because there is a mission where the graffiti spawns over there, and for the, for the life of me, I'm going to remember to get it. Because there are enough blue coins in this level that I'm prone to forgetting. I don't want to miss the ones I remember. 
So this one is the casino, and everyone remembers this for being one of the most tedious shines you need to do in the entire game. I also seem to remember there is no graffiti back here in this mission. There isn't a later mission. Actually, can I spray this for a one-off? Okay, that works. But I remember there being graffiti up there in a later mission. There are a couple of blue coins that you're very e Very, uh... What's the word? Prone to missing? That you can ground pound these slot machines, and some of them will give you coins. One in particular will give you a blue coin. I want to say that's the only one, so I'm not going to test the other ones, but I'm pretty sure that's the only one. I also think one of these torches has a blue coin as well. But those are the only two that I remember are in here. So I'll just get them while I remember. There we go. I feel like testing the other slot machines too, but I also feel like they wouldn't put two blue coins in the same place like that. So I'll just leave those be. And by leave them be, I mean test them anyway. And since I'm not going for 100 coins, I'm not going to go after them. Now, the reason why this is one of the most tedious shines in the game is because you are intended to spray each of these to get sevens. If you get sevens, it will open up something for you to... It'll give you access to the flipboard back here, which you have to flip all 16 things around, similar to how we got through the shades on the other one. I am going to try to avoid doing that if at all possible. And this is one of the few tricks or skips that I know how to do in this entire game. Which is thankful because this is probably the most tedious shine to do the normal way. And if I could get the side hop, that would be terrific. What I am doing here is getting on top of this thing. There is actually a ledge up here. There should not be, but there is. You can climb up it, switch over to the spray nozzle, and you can kind of scooch over to the left, jump over the barrier, and we're behind the flipboard. This is the flipboard that everybody hates. We don't have to do it if we can skip it. And so help me, I will never do that flipboard again if I don't have to. And I don't have to, so we're not going to do it! And all of the people who skipped ahead in the video thinking that I was going to be spending 20 minutes on that shine in order to just get in here are probably realizing very quickly that they missed the secret because they went too far ahead in the video, thinking that I would be spending so much time in it. But of course, I'll probably be spending so much time in the secret that it doesn't really matter anyway. So there's that much. But even the secret in here is all sunsetty and pretty looking, and that block's gonna push me off if I'm not careful. Which I guess can be said about any secret in the entire game. But again, depth perception. I mean, it's not as bad as it could be in this game, but it's it's still really irritating to me. And I'm still trying to figure out whether or not that's just me, or if it really is this game. Maybe I'll never have a true answer to that question. I don't know if I'm more irritated by that in a video game, or... I went back to playing Donkey Kong 64 again a little while ago to see if I could bear to finish it, and I couldn't, but... Not having a shadow in that game is really irritating for platforming. To the point where it almost excuses some of the faults of this game. I mean, you don't realize how much something as small as a shadow to figure out exactly where you are can really, really help out in terms of platforming. Just basic things here and there that we take for granted in gaming that make a huge difference if you don't have them. But I I was good I was about to say but I digress, but that's the entire point of anything I say, isn't it? I'm still waiting for that graffiti. I'm thinking it doesn't appear until mission seven or something. It's kinda silly. But we have another boss battle that everybody loves. So we might as well run in there and do it real quick. I think this is the mission where that blue coin finally appears. Is it behind me now? There it is! Was it there before? 
course not. But that's why they expect you to know it. Also, booze! Who put the booze there? I wonder. Maybe we'll find out down here. Signs point to yes. Now you thought Phantom Manta was enough of a boss for this world. You ain't seen nothing yet. Also, I didn't realize slamming that down was going to stop both of them. So King Boo! Hope he gives you fruits. I think on the first one he always gives you fruits. He doesn't like hot food. Give him a pepper. He will reel in pain. Then throw another fruit at him. You can pick up another pepper for another cycle if you want to, but they all completely disappear. So, this guy will do his thing. If he doesn't give you what you want, I think you just wait for the enemies to spawn. And then you dive underneath him after they spawn. To get rid of them. Then he'll come back, and you can spray him again. And hopefully he will give us something nice this time. Fruits, that's perfect. So I think this is set to some degree where he will always give you fruits first, then he'll always give you enemies, and then it's random whether or not he'll give you fruits again. So he's always set to give you enemies the second, or the first time after you get the fruits. You just have to wait for the enemies to spawn if you dive underneath them. Then they disappear. Which is nice to know. Except he threw me all the way up, didn't he? Ow! I didn't realize your hitbox was so high. So, this guy's not the most fun boss to do, admittedly, but he must be dude, so he will be dude, just like everything else. And it sounds like we got fruits again, too. That's marvelous. So that went just about as well as it could have, if I can actually hit him with a fruit. There we go. And I just remembered, I never went back to get the red coins in that secret mission. I guess I'll do that before we end things off. So back we go for the red coins. I do not remember these red coins at all, which means they must be easy to do if I don't remember them. Right? That's totally what it means if I don't remember the red coins. That they weren't difficult enough for me to remember. I'm going to die! Die! Die, die, die. Yeah, there's one in there. I remember that one, too. If I can get it. I just don't remember if we need to have four before we leave, or if three before we leave is sufficient. I want to say we're good, but I do not trust myself to remember these at all. I do remember that accidentally overjumping some of these is a real pain if you overjump them. I guess that makes sense. I do think that red coin up there is a bit of a pain to get, though. Because you have to be at the very peak of your hover to get it. And I hopefully don't slow- That block was not in that position before I jumped. That was not the position of the block that I left. Well, at least we got it out of the way. So, this is Universal Giant. And next time, we'll finish off Sirena Beach. See you then.